Hello and welcome to Club 7, episode 16 of The Pilgrimage. My name is Jamie. Coming up on today's episode, I've got uh, two games for you in a slight change to the uh, previously advertised schedule due to rearrangement of uh, fixtures. We are at home to Watford in the Premier League and at home to Burnley, also in the Premier League. Since you were last with me, we've played the games you can see highlighted. And as you can see, we've had a very up and down time. We have had some reasonable results. We beat Everton. Uh, we got through the EFL Cup quarterfinal. We have beaten Sheffield United. We got through the uh, third round of the FA Cup. We got through the semi-final of the EFL Cup. And we beat Wolves in the league. But we have been beaten by West Ham in the league. Uh, we have been absolutely smashed by Manchester United and in our most recent outing we were absolutely robbed in defeat at Brentford. We dominated the game and they scored from their only shot, never mind shot on target. Um, but uh, anyway, without further ado, let's get into the uh, Watford game and I will show you the team for that one in just a moment. Okay, so the team for the first match at home to Watford is Justin Bielow in goal, back four of Tommy Asu, Zgella, Diaz and Coyne Emptage. It's Illich at the base of midfield, Smith Rowe and Verheyen ahead of him, Kareev on the right, new signing Shortire on the left and Dwayne Joseph up front. Let's submit the team and go and give the team talk. Okay, well, the assistant is recommending. The media have given you a lot of credit lately. Go out there and put on a worthy display. Given that we're in shaky uh, form at the moment, I think we pump the fists. In fact, no, let's... Um, Outstretch the arms, go out there, relax and play your natural game. Don't want to add any more pressure for the lads. So let's go into the tunnel. Uh, what do you attribute your recent good home run to? Uh, hard work. Uh, what makes you so confident you're able to stick with your recent tactical approach? Um, I know our quality, I know the effort we put into being better. Uh, why have you not picked Jack Murphy? Squad rotation, simple as that. So let's get into the match. And as always, we'll uh, let the first 10 minutes just uh, drift by and uh, see how we get on. Uh, keeping an eye also on the uh, Liverpool game at home to Wolves. Uh, we could do with them slipping up again. They've been in slightly shaky form as well, although not as bad as us. The annoying thing is, if we'd been in decent form, we'd have been uh, clear at the top by now. Smith Rowe with the corner. The header is over the top, so let's uh, demand more. And it's still 0-0 in the Liverpool Wolves game. So this does represent an opportunity at the moment to go top of the table, potentially. So I'm going to demand more again and need to keep an eye on how the lads are performing. Shorto is not playing that well, so he's probably not going to be on in the second half, although Joseph actually is uh, starting to struggle uh, for fitness as well as, uh, as well as rating. So it might be him that uh, makes way first. Uh, Illich to Diaz, Diaz to Verheyen, back to Bilo who goes left to Coinemptage, into Shortire, Shortire to Coinemptage, plays it forward, uh, Joseph won't get there, Roberto finds Williams for uh, Watford, Williams back to Roberto, into Mwamba, Williams back to Roberto, and he's put under pressure by Smith Rowe, who forces the errors, Geller finds Illich, Verheyen, and we've lost it again. 
Although it's played through, Joseph has it for Arsenal. Uh, plays it back to Smith Rowe, who clips in across for Hayen and Kareev can't uh, complete the uh, the finish. So a big chance goes begging, and it is very much a toss up between Shortire and Joseph for the halftime sub. I may even do both. In fact, I think that is exactly what I'm going to do. So, um, not happy. Um, not going to go any stronger than that. Dwayne Joseph off for Patrick. Nathan Bennett for Shola Shortire. And let's get the second half underway. And um, we will go attacking, demand more as well. In fact, we'll wait for this highlight to play out. In fact, no, we won't. We'll go with demand more right now. Uh, Zgela to Illich to Smith Rowe into Kareev. Patrick back to Tommy Asu. Tommy Asu's ball into Patrick. And Patrick slides it past the keeper to make it Arsenal 1, Watford 0. And that is a great assist from Tommy Asu. We'll watch this one. So Correa into Patrick. Patrick back to Tommy Asu. Takes a touch, fires it into Patrick. And he just beats the keeper with a drop of the shoulder. Slides it past him. 1 0 to the Arsenal. And uh, 48 minutes gone. Uh, Verheyen wins it. Finds Patrick, who gives the ball away. We will retain or get possession back. Below to Tommy Asu. Smith Rowe into Kareev. Kareev to Patrick, but he's lost it. Uh, Patrick's won it back though, and he's been fouled by Mass. Mass could be in trouble here, and he is. It's red. Two footed lunge, and he's off. So we've got 10 man Watford for the rest of the game to face. And we can uh, save the substitution. In fact, Verheyen is the obvious candidate. And we'll bring on Scott Guest to replace him. Uh, Bull back to Kriesman. Back to Cortez, who launches it. Uh, Zgala's underneath it. Finds coin Tarr for Arsenal. Ball over the top. Cleared, but only as far as Bennett, who finds Illich. Verheyen to Bennett who clips it over the top and that is a penalty all day long no need for uh, a review it's going to be given and there's the confirmation so it is I'm trying to work out who that is it's Smith Rowe with the spot kick and he slots it past the keeper. It's Arsenal 2, Watford 0. Against 10 men, this should be over now. I'm not going to show you the re uh, replay of a penalty. There's no point. We'll just get the, uh, the rest of the match played. And move on to the second game. Liverpool 0, Wolves 0. Still a later score. That is indeed enough to take us to the top of the table as it stands. It won't be if Liverpool get a winner, but as long as they do no better than draw, we will uh, end this match top of the league. Uh, Smith Rose corner into the middle. Skella with the thumping header. 3 0 off the underside of the bar. That wraps it all up against 10 men. There is no way Watford are coming back. And we just need to check in on the Liverpool game. It's still nil-nil. So this isn't uh, isn't confirmed yet that we're going top. A Wolves goal would do that. It's uh, Wol uh, Watford in possession, though, although we've won it back. Patrick to Bennett. Guest into Kareev, and it's cleared. Uh, Coin Taj picks it up. Diaz to Zgella. Zgella comes up to halfway, finds Smith Rowe, back to Illich. Zgella to Tomiasu on the right. 
over the halfway line, finds Guest in the midfield. He loses it. It's cleared, but Zgella will collect it. And he will pass it to Tomiyasu. Down the right-hand side. Ball over the top for Patrick. And it's tipped over by Cortez, the Watford keeper. So it'll be a uh, corner for Arsenal. Smith Rowe with the outswinging corner. Skeller's header goes miles over the bar and the highlight comes to an end. And Liverpool nil, Wolves nil is still the score going into the last few minutes. We're into the last minute of normal time. Four minutes of added time signalled. And that has now begun. It's Roberto for Watford into Julian. Bull to McNally. And it's a Brennan, but Guest has won it back. Bennett. It cannons off Brennan. Diaz back to Bilo. Skeller into Illich. Skeller. Illich to Diaz. To Skeller. Back to Bilo. We're keeping the ball really nicely. To the left and coin emptage. Over halfway. To Guest. To the right and Smith row, further right Tommy Asu into Kareev, who plays it back to Illich. Bennett through for Guest. Can't get the shot past the keeper. And the highlight comes to an end. And it's Liverpool nil, Wolves 1 with a stoppage time winner for Wolves. And we win 3 0. Our game's finished as well. I'll be back in a moment with the second match of today's episode. Okay, time now for the second match of the episode as we take on Burnley at home in the Premier League. And due to fatigue issues arising from the last match, I've had to make a number of changes to the lineup. So the team for the Burnley game is Justin Bilo in goal, back four of Tommy Asu, Kalulu, Murphy, and Koinam Taj. Ampadu is at the base of midfield. Guest and Breton ahead of him, Bennett on the right, Shortire on the left, Joseph up front. Let's submit the team and go and give the team talk. Okay, well the assistant manager is recommending we're favourites and I want us to play like it. Um, fair enough. Pump the fists and go with that. And let's go into the tunnel. Um, Jack Murphy, yeah, he's playing well and deserves to be praised. Um, we're confident. Um, leading scorers, are you looking forward to another positive match? Uh, goals win matches, absolutely. And there we go, let's get the match underway. And as always, we'll let the first 10 minutes uh, drift by and uh, see if we can uh, gain a rough feel for how the game is going there's absolutely nothing in it with nine minutes gone although Burnley have had the first shot so let's demand more can't be having Burnley taking uh, the initiative Liverpool have gone ahead in their game so we have to beat uh, Burnley although Liverpool are facing Manchester United so it's not an easy one for them uh, Joseph to Guest Bennett with the ball over the top for Breton Breton is looking for help plays it back to Shortire Shortire's absolutely hammered that it's gone past the keeper and it is Arsenal 1 Burnley 0 with 20 minutes gone And that means we will leapfrog Liverpool to take the lead again in the uh, Premier League. It's back to Bilo. Murphy, back to Bilo again. This time he goes left to Coinantaj. Further up the left flank to Shortire. Back to Breton. Into Coinantaj. Who goes back to Murphy. Into Ampadu. Breton to the left and coin out Taj. Back to Breton who fires a shot in, although to be fair, it had quite a bit of curl on it as well. And Sebastian Breton finds the back of the net. It is Arsenal 2, Burnley nil, 23 minutes gone. 
and how's the Liverpool game going? Still 1-0 to, uh, to Liverpool. So as it stands, it's as you were. We're top, just clear of Liverpool. And Sarawi gives it to Gould. Uh, coming forward, Sarawi gets it back. It's crossed in and the header flicks off the uh, crossbar. Burnley very nearly got back into the game. Liverpool have gone two up. Harlan getting both of them. He's still around and still scoring plenty of goals. But as long as we stay ahead in this match, it matters not. Ampadu to Breton into Bennett. Joseph to the right and Tommy Asu. Tommy Asu back to Guest into Bennett who uh, scores a very similar goal to the last one. Not quite as much pace on this one. It's Arsenal 3, Burnley nil. 34 minutes gone. And uh, we're just hopefully going to see the, uh, the rest of the first half out without too much in the way of incident. We're in a comfortable position. Liverpool 2-0 up. So uh, Manchester United look dead and buried on that, on that evidence. And as do uh, De Burnley, to be fair. And we are at half time. It's Arsenal 3, Burnley 0. No. So let's go and have a word with the lads. Tell them that we're, uh, we're pleased. Um, so we will outstretch the arms. Um, very happy. And let's have a look for potential substitution. Uh, Dwayne Joseph is struggling. We might as well take him off. The game's won. So let's bring on Patrick up front. See if he can add to his goal tally for the season. And we'll leave it at that for now. Although the right back, uh, Tommy Asu, looks like he will be the, uh, the next player to uh, depart the arena. Uh, Liverpool remain 2-0 up and it actually is a Burnley highlight that's uh, the first of the second half. Sarawi skips round his man, Bilo makes the save, holds it at the second attempt and is he going to launch it or is he going to play it short? He goes short in the end to Murphy. To the left and coin amptage into short tire. Ball over the top. Patrick gets it under control. The shot is charged down. And it's back with Green, but he gives it straight to Ampadu. To Kalulu. To Ampadu. Murphy. It's played to the left and coin amptage. Short tire brings it forward. Infield to coin amptage. The cross to Patrick. Patrick heads it in. It is Arsenal 4, Burnley 0, and this game's done. So now it is all about protecting the players from themselves. So we might as well take Tommy Asu off at this stage and bring on Zgella. And the final substitution, I think, is probably going to be... Uh, Short tire, although coin amptage is on a yellow card, so that might make more sense to prevent him from getting himself sent off. I'll give it another five ten minutes, and uh, hopefully, I don't uh, regret my uh, reticence to make the change. Uh, Martinelli with the shot, it's over the top, and I'm actually leaning towards leaving him on and going with short tire coming off. Uh, coin amptage to short tire. Short tire. And he's absolutely crushed another one, but Green is right behind this. Um, the question is short tire or. I'm going to go with short tire off. I might regret it, but we'll bring Wayne Pryor on. On the left wing. So 20 minutes to go. Hopefully coin emptage can uh, just, uh, let me just check his um, player instructions. And make sure he's not going to do anything silly, like get stuck in or anything like that. Um, no, take fewer risks. And 
uh, ease off tackles so we'll protect him as much as we can uh, Ampadu is gone to the right and Zgella into Bennett Bennett to Zgella to Guest into Breton Breton's ball forward is cut out by Mosquera it's played forward but Zgella wins it back Kalulu to Ampadu into Guest who plays it to Bennett Bennett's ball into Patrick Patrick has buried the chance to make it 5-0 but will it be called back for offside? That is the question. It's gone to VAR. The goal's been given. It is 5-0 to the Arsenal. So we will make that change. And I won't bother with the highlight as we're 5-0 up. And we're into the last 10 minutes. We just need to see this through now and keep the clean sheet. Although having said that, if we do concede, it ruins um, Bilo's clean sheet bonus. So we'll save us a few quid if uh, if they do score. But Bilo makes the save. He obviously wants the money this week. So it's uh, to the right and Zgella. Played forward to Bennett. Forward again for Zgella. Back to Ampadu. Up to halfway. Finds Guest. Ampadu forward to Patrick. Guest to Breton. Back to Guest. Ampadu to Breton to Murphy. Forward to Pryor, infield to Patrick, to Guest, to the right hand side, and Zgella, who fires in the cross. Patrick picks up the loose ball. He's been, I think he's been fouled. He hasn't actually, it's carried on, and it's gone out for a corner. Uh, be an outswinger from Bennett. Ball into the middle, headed away. Coin Emptage will collect. And the highlight comes to an end. We're into the last couple of minutes of normal time. There'll be two added minutes. Of which we've played one already. And that is full time. It ends Arsenal 5. Burnley 0. I'll be back in a moment. To show you the uh, league table. And then the uh, transfer deadline day. I'll be back in a moment. Okay, time now to take a look at the league table. And as you can see, we are at the top of the uh, table with 49 points from our 24 matches played. A point clear of Liverpool. Uh, four clear of Chelsea, who do have a game in hand. As do Manchester City behind them, who are five points behind us. And uh, let's... Uh, have a look at the fixtures to decide when we're going to come back and I will show you I think given that we've got a uh, Champions League knockout game next month and we've also got the EFL Cup final and we've got a Liverpool league game what I'm going to do is uh, make it a three match episode and show you the first leg against Dortmund the Premier League game against Liverpool and then the EFL Cup final against Liverpool as well and uh, before the end of the program I did promise you I would show you the uh, transfers that we've done so I'm going to uh, go forward to uh, the end of the transfer window and I'll be back in a moment when it's closed okay so it is now the 31st of January uh, 11 p.m. so the transfer window has literally just closed and this is the business we've done since the last transfer update uh, we made one signing during the January transfer window bringing in Shola Shortire from Leicester for 43 million uh, raising to a potential 52 million although not all of that is uh, payable up front a lot of it is in uh, staged payments and in terms of uh, outgoings we've lost uh, Janis Georgiaklis on loan to Gloucester City uh, Iver Funchal joins Chelsea for 26 million uh, Henri uh, Bienvenu uh, 
uh, joins Wolves for an initial £170,000. And Kilan Ibrahim joins Brentford for £425,000. So let's have a look at Shola Shortire and introduce you to him. Uh, he is a left winger, three star current ability and potential, 29 years of age, and valued at. Uh, 46 to 50 million pounds so I think we've got a decent deal and as you can see he's already played four times and scored once for us since his arrival so I think he's already starting to uh, to look like a very solid acquisition and um, hopefully he'll be a uh, big part of the team going forward so as i said earlier in the uh, episode it is going to be a, a triple header on the next one we're going to be uh, showing you uh, Borussia Dortmund at home in the Champions League, Liverpool at home in the Premier League and then Liverpool in the EFL Cup Final so uh, if you've enjoyed that please leave a nice thumbs up on there for me subscribe to the channel for monday to friday football manager videos thank you very much indeed for watching and goodbye <laughs>